everybody thought I'd give you a real quick update on uh, some of the progress I've made on the camper van uh, looking here you can see I got most of the uh, sides walls all finished um, I'm gonna have to leave these two spaces open but they're gonna be hidden by cabinets and what have you anyways and the reason, of course, is because they protrude out further than uh, my walls do. But um, I figure those will make good points to uh, feed wires through as I'm uh, wiring everything anyways. Um, got, uh, let's see, got the most of the ceiling on and... Um, most of this here that I left open, and I left it open on purpose because I'm going to run a um, shelf all the way through up here from about here over. And that'll hide all that. And again, I want to leave it open for a, uh, make it easy access to run wiring. Now we'll have to put a little piece of ceiling here. And... Um, finish this all out um i did get my uh bed up and uh working i've slept on it a couple times and as i said i'm using the trifold system that uh makes into a, a couch when it's closed and folds out into a full bed it's pretty comfortable uh, i mean and it's nice and one thing i like about this van with all the insulation I found, you know, when I slept, I was in a parking lot, a lot of traffic and a lot of people, but I mean, it's quiet in here. It's really quiet with all the insulation and the ceiling and walls up and, um, it's looking pretty good. Also, um, I got my, uh, Mr. Buddy heater where it's going to live. This uh, space all up to uh, about three feet will be all open. So uh, there won't be any chance of fire or anything. Um, it's being gas fed through. Uh, let's see, you can't even see it. <laughs> see if I can focus in. You see where the line's running in right here. And it's being gas fed right up through there uh, from my uh, propane tank in the uh, back. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, this thing is all anchored down. Back here, it's got two points it's anchored down. Put this board here um, to uh, anchor it to. And I'm also gonna paint everything white so it'll all blend really nice when I'm done. Got my wheel wells all covered and full of insul stuff full of insulation on both sides. And those will create when um, I'm in bed mode and got the bed out, those will create nice little uh, nightstands on both sides of the bed. I plan on uh, in the summertime when I'm not using the buddy heater, I'll just uh, remove it and store it in the back in, in my garage um out of sight that's everything in here and then now going in the cab i'll show you what i got going on here decided to put my whole electrical system right in behind the driver's seat and that way i won't be using up any cabinet space back in the actual living area and I had this big empty space behind the seat now anyways with this wall here. So uh, I was like, why not just put my whole electrical system right there? So uh, this fan, I'm using uh, two 12 volt deep cycle uh, batteries hooked up in parallel. And um, this, of course, my 2000 watt uh inverter and this is a 750 watt inverter this one when i wired up when i get it all wired up it's going to be always on running off of these batteries 
the 2000 water just like I had in my old van, it's wired up to the uh, uh, bat battery of the van itself, the uh, main um, vehicle battery. And it's set up so that it only comes on when the engine is running. And so, um, just like I had in the previous van, I'll be able to have um, a high watt. 110 volt power anytime I uh, crank the engine on and this one um, I'll have 110 volts at 750 watts available all the time and then I could that'll allow me to power things like if I want to power a laptop or um, I think I'd be able to run a TV off of that I'm not for sure and up here is my trickle charger and it's um plugged in to that uh 2000 watt inverter and then it runs down and charges the battery so what happens is when i start the engine this kicks in turns this on and then it starts charging the batteries directly off the charger and so as I'm driving, I'm charging my batteries, but as I discussed in previous videos, you don't ever want to connect your house battery and your vehicle battery directly together. Um, I tried that in my very first van, and it killed the batteries, both of them, the vehicle battery and the house battery in about a year. It was, it, it killed them both fast. So, um, the way this system is set up, they're not directly connected. They don't ever see each other. Um, got my solar charger hooked up right here. And you can see it, my battery levels are fully charged at, uh, 13.3 volts right now and uh, I got like 0.3 amps it's a cloudy day right now it's not the solar panel is not charging anything and I'll show you up top so from here we'll take a look at my um, what I got going on in the back here and I found this step stool is a real awesome little thing to carry around. It collapses when I want to collapse it and gives me something to step on. Step right onto my back porch. Let me give you a good view of the back porch here. This is my back porch. And my garage you see it's plenty of room for a bicycle my bicycle hangs right there on that hook I've got my raincoat here um, over in this corner two propane tanks um, and you can see they both need filled <laughs> but um what I'll be able to do is um, when one runs dry hook the other one up Go to a propane shop, fill the one dry, the empty one, and I'll never run totally out of propane with uh, t two of them like that. A two propane system. Of course, this leads back into my um, living area. <clears throat> This is something I did that's really cool. It's, you know, most people hang their ladders on the outside of the van. I never did like that because 
Um, as you know, I'm a street preacher. I want to be able to get up on the roof of my van and preach the gospel uh, without anybody else being able to get up there. And so what I'm actually able to do is, um, of course, when the porch is all closed up, I'm able to just open this one door, swing it open. I got a chain right there keeping it from swinging all the way open on me while I'm climbing up the ladder. And uh, I mounted the ladder inside. It closes right up in there. Uh, it gives me real quick access to the roof. And then I can shut the door and lock it. And, you know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, once the door's shut, how are you going to reach all the way from up there down to open the door when you need back down? Well, <laughs> thought of that too. On this handle here, I... Uh, Put this little eye hook through it and this little uh, 550 paracord and from the top I can just grab this pull and open the door but when it's locked nobody else can open the door while I'm up there and I got that paracord just coming around tied inside and yep the Lord gave me that idea. It's awesome. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I don't ever have to worry about dragging a ladder out anymore. And before, I, in my other van, I always had to drag my other ladder out, set it up, get up there, and I always had to worry about somebody being able to climb up and harass me while I'm preaching. And uh, this system allows me to get up, close it up, make it impossible for anybody else to climb up and when I'm ready to come down just pop the handle climb down so now let's go up and I'll show you what I got going on up here and you can see on the roof of my van there's my solar panel I'll hooked up I'll show you how I hook this down see these uh, I got these pieces of um, aluminum um, angle iron angle uh, aluminum I guess it's a correct correct term and you know on these uh, pro masters they have these little tie down points and so what I did is um, in the aluminum, I cut a slit this way so that it would slide underneath the tie down. And then I cut a piece of this little angle iron with a slit going this way that I slid up under that and then screwed the two together. And that prevents it from ever being able to come out from those tie downs and it's anchored in two places there and there on that side same thing on this side it's anchored there and there the same way and then I cut me two more pieces of um, angle aluminum and you can see how I bent the ends so that I could screw in two points, screw it down to my side angles. And I did that, the top and the bottom of the, uh, where the uh, solar panel was gonna sit and then screwed from that directly into the framing of the solar panel and this thing it is tight it is not going anywhere um, <clears throat> and I didn't have to put a single hole in the roof of my van to run my solar panel and that's what I've been trying to prevent and as you know I uh, beefed up the uh, Root underside of my roof if anybody's wondering why my roof ain't caving in on me it's because I put ribbing on the inside underneath 
screwed to the frame that allows me to stand up here and walk around. I got this grippy tape so that, like, today it's kind of wet, but I still got good grip walking because of this uh, grippy tape that's up here. And, uh, it's all set up for, I can use it as, you know, my rooftop ports like I had on my previous van or as my stage to proclaim the gospel, you know, to all the world. Glory. So that about covers it for this week. Appreciate you uh, watching. Hope you have a blessed day in Jesus.